Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you the implementation of transaction in entity framework. Already we have seen what are transaction in our ADO.NET videos. We have seen what are transaction and the implementation of transaction in ADO.NET. If you want, you can go through the earlier videos at Manjur the Trainer portal. You can go for manjurthetrainer.com and in your ADO.NET module, the last two videos, transactions in ADO.NET and implementing transactions in ADO.NET. You can go through this. The transactions in ADO.NET will explain you what a transaction is. And here we will see the implementation of transaction. Now, I hope that you might have gone through these videos and you have an understanding of transaction let us see the implementation of transaction in entity framework and my requirement is little different here it is not what i had in adio.net my requirement is i have department table and employee table i want to create a department and at the same time i want to create an employee belonging to that particular department so first of all let us see how to create a department we create a department with the help of TBL department entity D equals to new department and we prepare this entity D dot so and so. Now I got the entity ready and I have organization entities object with me. Now I can say OE dot add to department D. Now in the same sense I want to create one more object of TBL employee entity. TBL employee, EMP name, EMP salary, EMP gender, EMP date of birth and one thing you need to observe EMP department ID, I want the department ID of this employee to be the department that I have created here. And we know that department ID is auto generated column and how do I access that ID? If I say D dot department ID, is it going to give me the ID that has been generated automatically or not? Let us see that. Now I'll say OE dot add to employee EMP and finally I need to say OE dot save changes. I'll save this and I'll execute this. As we know that transaction is something if this execution and this execution. If these two executions are successful then I say that the transaction is successful. If this execution is successful and this execution fails, it should roll back. That means it should undo even this execution. So let us see, I'll save this and I'll say execute. Now let me go back to the database. Let me see whether I got the department PDG. Yeah, I got the department PDG and department ID is 102 and department ID is 108 and in employee table I got Ferry and I got the equivalent department ID. That means your entity framework is handling the auto incremented column automatically because in your model you said that department ID is auto generated column in property window if you see store generated pattern is identity so it is handling the things automatically now what if 
what if this gets executed successfully and this fails but if at all say this gets executed i have one statement and i say safe changes and say i have another set of queries where i execute them and i say safe changes and i want all of them to run under a single transaction so to achieve that i need to implement transaction in entity framework for that i need to add a reference to a dll called as system dot transaction system dot transaction i'll say okay now i get the reference to that dll now i'll say using system dot transaction and i will be working with transaction scope class i'll say using transaction scope s equals to new transaction scope and I'll in a bracket here and I'll close it. And at last I will say s dot complete. Once we say s dot complete, it is going to commit this transaction. If your cursor does not execute s dot complete, it means that the transaction is incomplete and it will roll back any operations that it has performed on entity data model save this and let me execute now i get the department pdg flow table data execute this and i get parry belonging to the department 110 that is pdg this is very simple just you need to put your code inside transaction scope and at the end you need to call this method as dot complete if at all there is any exception here it is not at all going to call this method and it is going to roll back the transaction and i'll comment out as dot complete that means if this method is not executed it is going to roll back these operations and i should not have any pdg and ferrari in my database let me look into the database now i do not have any pdg neither have any ferrari that means it has rolled back both the operations even though we say safe thing now if i say s dot complete it should commit both the operations and i should have both the records now i'll look into the database now i get jill and i get that So this is all about the transactions in your entity framework which is very simple just create the object of transaction scope and put all your queries or all your operations one after the other and finally call as dot complete it is going to commit the transaction if this method is not called it will automatically roll back the transaction so this is all about transaction thank you very much